she married Serena. And who am I? That's not a secret I'll never tell. You know you love me. So, XO, Gossip Girl. Ugh. Don't be mad. I came back because I want to understand. No, I'm not, I'm not mad. I just... <sighs> okay, if you ever wanted something so badly, but you just know you're not going to get it... No, that's right. I, I forgot who I'm talking to. Of course you haven't. But that, that, was, that was my whole life. And the moment you walked away from me, I knew there was no way I could ever pull you out of your world into mine. <sighs> but I couldn't give up. The school trip to the Intrepid Museum. Yeah, I overheard two girls talking about you in your white dress getting wet. And, um, one girl thought that you would be a laughing stock, you know, and that, and that everyone would be talking about you. But then her friend said, that's the point. You're no one until you're talked about. So you came home and you told all of this to Jenny and... That was the beginning of Gossip Girl. So you've had the power to reveal her identity this entire time. Come, we have a mission. We? We who? What, what mission? Do you two seriously not have any idea why I'm here? What have you been doing for the last 12 hours? Obviously, Gossip Girl's known you all since ninth grade, but it's doubtful that someone older would have cared about a bunch of freshmen. So, she's the same age, or younger. That's what we always figured. But you went to different colleges after graduation. She couldn't have followed all of you. By that time, it didn't matter. She'd already built up her network of sources. I mean, she could have been anywhere in the world. Like at Sarah Lawrence, where Eric Vander Woodson goes? Or maybe London, where Jenny Humphrey lives? I thought of that. Eric, maybe, but Gossip Girl was pretty brutal on Jenny. I mean, no one would do that to themselves. Are you kidding? Battling Blair, the fashion line? Even you had a crush on her. Little Jay was my idol in seventh grade. But I get your point. Is there anyone Gossip Girl ever went easy on? Someone she cared about? That could be a clue. The only selfless thing she ever did was shut down after Chuck and Blair's accident. Although, she did lead Dan and Blair to Juliet after Serena was drugged. That was the right thing to do. And wasn't there a lot of stuff that she knew but didn't post until Serena went to war with her at graduation? Maybe Gossip Girl was really our guardian angel. Spotted Chuck Bass back in Manhattan. We hear he's on his way to turn himself in. Who's up for a little stakeout at the big house? Well, so much for that theory. Yeah. Jack? Come on, let's go. Take your time. I mean, whatever. Come on. Let's go. So did you see what I saw? What are the chances that Serena, Dan, Nate, and Georgina Sparks all decided to check out the Warhol exhibit together? Zero. Come on, Allie. So this is what you meant. Mom? Chuck. I'm sorry I couldn't call. You really scared us. Oh, I'm so glad you're safe. You know, I was a little confused as to why we're all here. Are you saying goodbye before you turn yourself in? Why does everyone look like they're here for a funeral? When you're here for a wedding. <gasps> oh. A woman like Blair deserves to be married with style, surrounded by friends and family. No bass man would let himself be stopped by a little thing like a tri-state APB. Okay, enough of the small talk. We all have a job to do. Blair and Chuck stay out of sight. Then we meet at the Bethesda Fountain and get married. Miss Honorable, go get the dress. And the ring. You, you. And I'll be strong. Chuck and Blair are getting married? This is the biggest Gossip Girl story ever. 